We all know who Iman Godzi is and how he has amazing edits. But did you know that you can make the same edits as him in CapCut for free? In this video, I will show you how I made this intro and some more animations. So stay tuned till the end. Here we have all the necessary images for this video. You can find them on the internet very easily. To start with, we'll take a background that looks like this. Since in Iman's videos the background moves, we will do that too. We'll go to the effects section and find this effect. We'll drag it to the background. We can see that the background is moving a bit faster, so we're going to reduce that and adjust it. Do this according to your feeling. Now we will insert the grid. We will reduce its opacity so that it looks more beautiful. And we will add a mask to it. Then we will click on the rectangle. We will increase the mask as much as the grid is big, and we will increase the feather and round corners to make it look more beautiful. Now we will reduce the opacity a little more, and already it looks quite nice. In Iman's videos, the grid also moves, so we will insert the same effect again, and set it differently from the background, so that it moves at a different speed. We'll insert animations to make it fit better, and now it's time to insert our voiceover. Increase it to 5. And cut out the unnecessary parts. In order for our background to be the same length as the voiceover, we will find where it needs to be cut and copy it. We will add a bubble blur transition to make it look smoother, and we'll repeat the process. Once we've done that, we'll put automatic subtitles. We will change their appearance, font, size, and then the animation so that words come out one after the other. We will fix the mistakes and delete the unnecessary parts. We will insert the image, reduce the opacity, and add an effect to it to make it look more interesting. Since the effect is going too fast, we will reduce it and slow it down a bit. Now, we will add a mask in the form of one line and place it all the way to the very beginning. We will increase its feather and put a keyframe. After a few frames, we will lift the mask up and put a keyframe again to get this look. We're going to delete the text from here because it's unnecessary and just a nuisance and now we're going to add thumbnails from the video. We will reduce them, reduce the opacity a little. We will also set a rectangle mask and we will increase the feather and a little round corners. Now we will put the keyframe at the beginning so that the thumbnail is not even visible and we will put it at the end so that it comes into place. We will repeat this process with these three thumbnails. And while I'm at it, I'd like to tell you that I opened a Fiverr account, so if anyone needs a video editor, check out the link in the comments. Now we're going to set the keyframes for the thumbnails to go back down. But before that, we're going to copy the last keyframe five frames back, so that the thumbnails will start going down from there. We will also add keyframes to the image mask in the same way. We will add animations to the image of Iman for the end and the beginning so it would look smoother. Then we insert the cap cut icon, lower the opacity, and play with the keyframes so that it looks like it has been blown away by the wind. You can now add your own sound effects or simply drag and drop them from CapCut's library, and that's it. For this animation, we need two images that I have prepared here. We will drag the image of the street down and immediately enlarge it to 150% and then position it as we like. Now we're going to click on this little diamond here that marks the keyframe to animate our background. We're going to switch to the end of the background and drag the picture while holding the shift button so that it stays in the same plane. But we're going to drag right up to the pole to make the video look better. It looks like this now.
Not bad, huh? Now we're going to insert our car and immediately increase the background and car image to last 6 seconds. Since the car is facing the other way, we will right click, then edit and then mirror in order to turn it as it suits us. Now we can animate the car as well as the background image. And it looks like this. But it's still too simple, how about we make the wheels spin? To do this, we will place the car in the middle and click this button to crop the image so that only the tire is visible. Once we've done that, we'll put a mask on the image, select the circle, and cut it exactly so that only the rim is visible. Now we're going to drag our car again, because we cut it out of the scene. We're going to add a mirror effect to it again, and we're going to place the rim so that it's over the car so that it can be seen. Now we're going to position the rim so that it comes into place. To do it better, we can reduce the opacity for the rim. When we've done that, we'll put a keyframe at the beginning where the rotation is zero. And at the end, we'll add a keyframe so that the rotation is minus 720 degrees so that the rim rotates. Now we're going to simply copy the rim by holding the Alt button and dragging it, and we're going to position the other rim on top of the other tire. When we're done with that, we'll mark everything like this and make a compound clip so that we can put keyframes on the car all at once. We will add keyframes. And it now looks like this. Finally, we will make the car stay in the middle a little longer by adding more keyframes and our work is done there. For these animation we'll need a grid picture for background and a book PNG picture. We must adjust our video to 916 resolution and drag a grid to a timeline. As I said in Iman's video's grid or background moves, so we need to make our grid move. We can do that in effects section by selecting nightclub section and then rebounding swing. Now we will add a book picture and just play with keyframes, feel free to just follow what I do. When we're done, we'll add text, change the font, and give it a glow effect. Then we'll make a compound clip and play with keyframes. There are no post commentary when I show you how to adjust keyframes, because I assume you already know that if you've watched this tutorial carefully, you can follow what I'm doing.
Now we are at the end if you liked this video, and if it was helpful leave a sub and a like. Click here to watch how to edit videos like Magnetis Media, and see you in the next video.